Dozens of famous people, past and present, made a stop in Cabot today. Well, sort of. Yeah, students at Westside <laughs> Elementary School hosted a living wax museum, and Michael Aaron takes us there. Inside the cafeteria at Cabot Westside Elementary School, you'll find Adele and Odell, Albert Einstein, Roman Reigns, and just about everyone in between. This is not your typical wax museum with the touch of a button. Aloha, my name is Bethany Hamilton. These still figures come alive. Hello, my name is Dolly Rebecca Parton. I was born January 19th, 1946 in Locust Ridge, Tennessee. The Living Wax Museum is an annual project for fourth graders here. I would like to be remembered as the greatest catcher of all time. The students pick their subject in November, whether it's an athlete, celebrity, or historical figure. In the next few months, they write a research paper and create a poster about their life before showing off their best impression to their families and peers. They have buy-in because they are the ones who actually chose the person that they are studying, and so they are interested. And so anytime that they're interested and that the students have buy-in, buy in, it's going to be much more meaningful for them. Fourth graders must also meet standards in public speaking. I am famous because I got my arm bitten off by a tiger shark. Something that can be a source of anxiety for some. His whole career. Fears overcome in this room. It's been better. Yeah, I'm not that nervous anymore. A room full of lessons learned and lessons shared about some of the legends among us. I kind of just want to educate people about Dolly Parton because she is an older singer, so not many kids know about her. So I would like to introduce her back to the younger kids. In Cabot, Michael Aaron, THV 11 News.